Welcome back, folks. As far as today goes, another day with plenty of humidity and the thunderstorms that fired up in the afternoon. As we take a look at Skywatch Doppler radar right now, things are quiet out there, at least at home in the Midlands. There are some thunderstorms firing up to our east, but we don't expect that to move into any of the Watch Fox viewing area or the counties tonight, which is good news. It'll still be a little muggy out there, but the closest thunderstorm activity along the 95 corridor as you head towards North Carolina. This actually on the North Carolina side is a severe thunderstorm warning, but really nothing that we need to be too concerned with at home as again, the focus will become the muggy conditions out there and the potential for some patchy fog as well. Taking a look at real time numbers on the Skywatch weather bug network from 74 at Ferry Chevrolet in Orangeburg, 73 at Pillion Middle School. It's 73 in Batesburg at our Scanna site and down in Charleston, 77 degrees. Now, as far as the rain today, it depends on where you were as far as the amounts you saw. Three one hundredths in Orangeburg at Ferry Chevrolet, as well as our Scanna site in Batesburg, but over a half an inch in Pillion and close to seven tenths of an inch in Charleston. So the weather depends on where you are as far as what you experience. We are dealing with some warm temperatures, not only in the Palmetto State, but throughout the southeast. Those numbers in the 80s and even some areas in Texas still in the 90s. Granted, it's an hour difference as you get towards Dallas, Texas, where it's only 9 o'clock at night versus 10 o'clock here, but it's still very extreme to see temperatures like this, an indication that we've got some very warm air out there. The reason some of these numbers cap today in the upper 80s and low 90s is because we saw those thunderstorms fire up in the afternoon hours, but notice as we've lost the heating of the day factor, that's all began to go away, dissipate. There is thunderstorm activity to our northwest moving through parts of the Ohio River Valley, but that's not going to factor into our forecast, at least in the immediate future. Now, the bigger picture showing you that as far as humidity, moisture, thunderstorms, it's the eastern tier of the United States. The western half, things are relatively quiet right now, and that should be the case as we roll through the uh, overnight time frame in the next couple of days. Here at home, tomorrow, we're taking today and we're basically doing it all over again. This is by lunchtime tomorrow where you've got the potential of some pop up storms with the heating of the day that continues towards the five o'clock rush. And then as we fast forward into the day on Friday, we're going to look for the potential of some thunderstorms to fire up again with the heating of the day and that trend lasting for really the next seven days. Muggy tonight down to 72 degrees. Then as we head into the day tomorrow, I think we'll pretty much top out at 91 degrees and only because of the fact that thunderstorm potential firing up in the afternoon will keep us from heating up anymore. I think we'll get some rain to fall right there on the old sensor and that won't allow the temperatures to climb anymore, but instead they'll start to drop a little bit. Looking at that seven day forecast, we've got 90s for you all the way through. We've got rain chances for you all the way through. It's going to be hot and humid and it's hard to believe this, but July beginning in just a couple of days. July is beginning actually on Monday and those temperatures certainly fit. the temperatures are actually where they should be. It's the humidity yeah. that's a little bit annoying. I was outside this afternoon and I noticed it was very easy to get around downtown Columbia because there was nobody outside. Everybody is <laughs> hiding in the AC right now and Kitty that's going to be the trend for the next seven days. All right. Thank you, sir. You bet.